toughness factor in that Minnesota loss, especially in the second half. What does that mean to you? What, what did you see out there when it comes to that, just the, the being out toughed? Yeah, I mean, there's no question that we were out tough in that game. Um, and we all wish we could have it back. We think we're a different team now. And uh, we've learned from a lot of those tough losses that we've had on the road that we can't get punked like that. And we're not a team that's just going to accept that we're being soft. Like, we're going to come back and we're going to be a tougher team as we've been the past few games. We have a bunch of guys that take pride in being tough, like me and Josiah, Rink, and even more guys. We all we don't want to have that kind of outside view of people thinking that we're going to be punked. So we want to do the best we can to be physical back with other teams and hopefully be known as a as a scrappy team like that. How do you prepare for the toughness or toughness and physicality like you're going to see from Minnesota? I mean, it's a lot of mentality stuff. Obviously, we can bang around in practice, do a ton of rebounding drills, but if you don't have the right mentality, it's not going to work. And I think with only having a pretty short prep, you can't do too much of that in practice. We have done some, and we've worked on some fundamentals of doing tough stuff, but a lot of it is just creating it ourselves and being tough, and the coaches have told us as much. Like, we, they've don't, told us plenty of times, like way more than enough that we need to be super tough this game. Now it's just about us going out and executing that. How much have you seen just specific guys fitting into certain roles, like, you know, what Jamarcus has accepted the last few games and how he's run with that, how you've run with your role, how, how it's paid off for this team in that way? Yeah, I mean, I think it just shows that none of us are selfish players. We all can accept that someone else is going to have it each game. And if you look at how many different guys have led the team in scoring, per se, and I did in the first game of the year, but I haven't scored more than five points in many games since. So I don't really care about that at all. I always say I'd rather score zero points and win than 40 and lose. So I think a lot of guys have that same sort of thought process, and we all kind of just try to star in what we do best. And with the way our team is made up, it helps us get uh, some wins. What challenges um, do Minnesota's guards present to you guys defensively? Specifically Hawkins, or he's a great assister, but also can score, as we saw over this last week. Yeah, I mean, he's one of the quickest guys in the league, and I didn't get a ton of opportunity to guard him. I didn't play much. I was kind of dealing with a knee injury at that time, but uh, he is one of the quickest guys I've had to guard, and uh, they got a bunch of shooters as well. Chrissy's playing confident. Um, I can't, I'm blanking on the other one's name right now that started. Mitchell, Mitchell yeah. But they play really confidently, they shoot the ball well, and they're really quick. So we got to be ready just to face that, and I think we're prepared. How have you felt about just the collective rebounding effort from the guards over the past couple of games? Yeah, I mean, that's one thing that we've looked at is our uh, individual rebounding uh, percentages on the defensive side. And some of our guards are higher up there. I think Jamarcus is third right now, and I'm fourth on the team. <laughs> that percentage. So we take a lot of pride in that. Kese, we're trying to get more to fill in that. I think he's the lowest on the team, but he still has gotten more of these past few games. His percentage has gone up. So it's something that we definitely want to be good at. And if we can help out our bigs uh, facing those monsters every game, just come down and steal rebounds, then that helps them in more ways than you can say. I know it's hard to avoid the, the bracket conversations that are out there, but how have you seen this team kind of keep their, their focus on what, what's right in front of them and not get distracted by all that? Yeah, we don't talk about it much. Obviously, it's kind of, I feel like we all probably follow it a little bit, but we all know what we have to do. We just have to take care of business. We don't care about what other teams on the bubble are doing. We're all just focused on how can we put ourselves in a spot where we won't have to worry about anything. And I think we've done a really good job of that. Even in the locker room, we're not really talking about the bubble. We're just talking about what we can do to make ourselves a lock. You guys got that Big Ten road win out of the way. Uh, how do you approach this one as not just saying, you know, we're great at home, we're expected to win, um, but still approach with that same mentality of you know, must win game? Yeah, I mean, it obviously feels really good to get that win on the road, but our mindset doesn't change. We know that we're a good team and we expect it to win that game. Uh, every game is the same. We're going to go into the same mentality, expecting to win. And I think that it's kind of nice to have that off our back. And for future road games, maybe we'll be a bit more confident. But at home games, we're still going to do the same thing we've always been doing and just keep trying to get wins the same way. Where, where'd Jamarcus get the headband from? <laughs> he said he didn't get a cut before the game, so he had to cover it up. <laughs> That's the only reason? No, That's the only reason. reason. Okay. I just didn't know if I got it from you or something. Anything else no, I did. You guys have two home games left. You know, you've been here three years. What, how cool has it been to see kind of the basketball culture here at Nebraska develop over this season? Yeah, I mean, just thinking back to two years ago where we were when I was a redshirt on the bench, just 
going into games expecting to lose and just not really having much hope. It's just completely different now. We got so many fans at the games and I feel like they're really into it now. And we've really changed that culture to where I feel like people really care about us and we play in a way that they want, how they want to watch it. They don't want to see us go out there and get punked every game. We're going to be a team that's going to play hard, dive on loose balls, something that the crowd loves. And that's the thing I noticed when I go make a hustle play, the crowd cheers just as loud for that as they do for k making a deep three. And you can tell the fans really appreciate basketball. And we just tried to all be like that and kind of play in a likable way, I'll say, but also a way that translates to winning.